Hi, this tutorial is about natural selection and this is for Marina Village Middle School students in seventh grade life science. Um, natural selection is usually attributed to this gentleman, Charles Darwin, who in 1859 uh, published this book called The Origin of Species and right in the title or subtitle by means of natural selection. Uh, this book went on sale in 1859. I think 1,200 or so copies sold out right away, and it has never been out of print. Uh, Darwin wasn't really the first person to come up with any ideas on how evolution works, but he was the first one attributed with the uh, mechanism of how biological evolution works as far as natural selection goes. So here's how it works. Natural selection has four different parts. There's overproduction, variation, competition and selection. So let's take a look at how this works. Overproduction means that there's more organisms born than will grow to adulthood. So there's all of these beetles. And there's variation amongst them. So they're not all the same. There's some green beetles and in this case there's some orange beetles. And then the third step is there's competition. And the competition is really competition to survive. It's usually for food, water, or a safe place to live. And in this place, the competition is to get away from this bird that's saying, yum, green beetles, our favorite. So if the bird happens to like green beetles, or for whatever reason the bird can eat green beetles easier, the orange beetles are going to win the competition. And if any of them that are orange win the competition, what happens is they then get selected to reproduce and pass on their genes that control their color. And a few generations later, what's going to be left is mostly orange beetles. So if there's a certain genetic trait that shows up in the variation that helps them win the competition, then though that trait can help them get selected to reproduce and pass that trait on. Another way to think of that very similar way is you start with one organism here and often the variation amongst organisms comes from genetic mutations and sometimes genetic mutations can be neutral sometimes they can be positive or negative and in this case let's just say this organism has three genetic mutations for whatever reason they start out with this gray one there's a lighter one a darker one and if this mutation does not help it survive it gets selected against which means Yep, that's right, it didn't survive to reproduce. But these mutations did. And because they reproduced, that mutation got passed on through its genes that went to the next generation of organisms. And eventually, at the end, you end up with a population of organisms that might be a little different than what started out with. And these mutations that didn't help just disappear. Where we've seen this in the news lately is with antibiotic resistant bacteria. So in this diagram, you can kind of see how this works. Here's a normal bacterium and bacteria in general. And here's one that with a genetic mutation that's resistant to antibiotics. And if those bacteria are exposed to antibiotics, most of them are going to die. But a few might not. These two didn't. So over here you have overproduction and there's genetic variation. They're not all the same. Here's the competition. So you've got overproduction, variation, competition. They're trying to find a safe place to live. And the ones that win the competition then get selected to reproduce. And if there was some trait that helped them win that competition, then in succeeding generations more of them will have that trait. And what happens here, eventually, most of the bacteria become resistant to the antibiotic that killed them off in here. And just to sum up here, uh, there's really three things going on. There's overproduction, and before selection you've got a whole bunch of organisms. Not all of them are going to live to adulthood and reproduce. There is some variation, meaning they're not all the same. They compete for food, water, and shelter, and some win. In this diagram, for whatever reason, these ones won. And then they get selected. So selection means they live long enough to reproduce. 
and they pass on their genes. And if any of those genes controlled a trait that helped them survive, that gene gets passed on. And the final population is going to look different than this population. And that's the general idea of natural selection that Darwin put forth in his 1859 book on the origin of species by means of natural selection.